What's up dudes and dudes to the internet, my name's Seth and we are back again for another trove. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at my cornerstone because quite a few people have been commenting saying, hey dude, can you show me your cornerstone? Now, I did actually do a cornerstone tour uh, type of thing in episode 200, but that was like 50 zillion years ago. So I thought that today I would show you all my old cornerstones. So of course you end up pressing the square the forward half square button or whatever brings up your cornerstone tab i only have two this was my old cornerstone once upon a time and uh back in the day too it was actually very very cool because people actually started to decipher what my cornerstone looked like through the videos and i started seeing exact copies of my cornerstone or at least pretty darn close just throughout the world with random people's houses and i thought that that was so cool i would love to be using this corner Cornerstone more often and I'm going to try and hopefully do that but my new cornerstone is a lot more efficient for grinding and stuff like that and I don't really have the time to waste wandering around but anyway we're gonna take a look at this so of course I am the scythe plays house yes <laughs> and, and I always got to put rejuvenation stations all around it why why where do I have a fence I don't. Well, I'll have to remember to fix that after the video, so we won't go to the second floor yet. Uh, I think this was the second or third house that I built. So I kind of just started going a little bit crazy with the props and stuff like that. This is my older one, so things are a little bit different, definitely. We still actually have a loot collector. No, not a loot collector, a style saver, I mean. Uh, for those that don't know, this was actually the way, there was actually a deconstructor which you would break items down for the materials. And then there was a style saver where you would separately break down items that would go and save into your style section. Now the loot collector does both of them at the same time, where it breaks it down gives you the materials and gives you the style if you don't already have it so a lot better of a system most definitely and then of course just all the essential crafting tables and stuff like that this actually you used to have to have a class changer that you would interact with to change your classes as well instead of now where you can just press the j key and then we got just donuts a chicken because evil chickens have to be everywhere. I have accepted my evil chicken roots. Uh, portal to Team Pixel, just to kind of like show everybody, hey, this is me. And just a couple different crafting tables here, you know, how it goes. And I guess we'll go into the basement before we go upstairs. Hi, Gobby. That's Goldfish Gobby. I just named him now. And you can see how old my cornerstone is because my portal room only goes up to U5. I made this cornerstone before U6 existed. <laughs> before Skyland existed, before everything, like seriously, it's so nostalgic for me. And then, I have a secret right here to show you all everybody. Go down here, and here was my trophy room. Back in the day, I actually thought that this was a lot of trophies. And then I've got portals to Team Pixel 2 and 3. I should get rid of those. I'm not even a part of those clubs anymore. And then I have another double secret. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you didn't expect that one, did you? And this is my treasury. This is my golden room with my beautiful uh, candy cane picture. That's actually not a painting of a candy cane. It's actually a physical candy cane that I licked and stuck to the wall just because I thought it was cool. This is actually where I used to have my Team Ploxel portal stone, but yep and then radiation and you can see that I was very heavy into the glowing blocks at first as well and then down here this is my garden this is usually where I grow fertilizer and stuff because I created this before I knew that Trove had a little bit of a lighting system going on with the gardening because you actually can't grow steed feed unless it's like out in the open because it has to have like sunlight touching it and no roof on top of it. It's very strange. I found that one out the hard way uh, while I was trying to grow some steed feed in my house and I noticed that the steed feed that was by the window ended up growing while the rest of it didn't. Really, really weird that that's even a mechanic in this game. You wouldn't think so. And then if we go over to the second floor here, just a bunch of props and stuff like that. I saw this in a lot of uh, cornerstones a long time ago, just this design uh, using these props in this specific order. And I really like the look of it because it kind of tricks the eye into thinking that it's like a big, a big dragon head with horns or something. I don't even know what that prop item is. I've never seen that before. Then we go up to the blue floor. <laughs> Nothing really here. This is kind of like my armory, I guess. Now on the final floor, this was actually one of the original evil chickens outside of the ones that I snuck into Team Pixel like once upon a time ago. And then you can just come out here. 
and I really like the way that my house looks. That was one of the things is I always like having the flowing water because I love the way that the water looks in this game. Uh, I don't think I have it going around the side, but I just want to show you all like this is kind of what I have for my house. There's two people back here, two people secretly eating cake. There's the robot and a dragon trying to warm up. And then if you end up coming all the way up to the roof, which you can see isn't even like a fancy roof like I do now, but it's still all glowy and stuff. Uh, I've got my floating islands, which was I've had so many people come up to me and always say like the floating island portion of my uh, cornerstone was very inspiring for them. I've seen so many cornerstones that have taken this design uh, where there's actually like kind of a crystal that's kind of holding all the floating islands around and stuff like that. Even on my first earlier cornerstone, I still always had this crystal, but I kind of just rearranged everything as it went about. And this was also before, like way back in the day, you would only have one jump. You didn't actually have a second jump. So getting up all of this stuff, I tried to make it like as easy as possible. And then if we come up to here, this is where I used to do most of my gardening. Uh, right up here is where I just had a nice platform and a tree. And then there was a, another house up to the north and stuff like that. Now I've swapped it out, and these are a bunch of Game Breaker Cannons. The entrance is right here. I got a tutorial on the Game Breaker Cannon, of course, you know how it is. Uh, but unfortunately, the Game Breaker Cannons don't work particularly well in Adventure Worlds, unfortunately, because of lag and stuff like that. And my new cornerstone kind of has like the more optimal way of actually, you know, game breaking it up. And then uh, this was kind of like the unofficial team pixel symbol from once upon a time. So let's swap over to the hunt. Whee! And this one is just a very, very basic house because this was made quite recently. Well, recently, it, it was made when they allowed us to have a secondary cornerstone. Then I threw this one together and it's had some changes over the time just because of different game mechanics and stuff like that. But in general, I wanted to have a house that was very efficient. Now, one thing that I definitely would like to eventually do with this one actually is I should have it higher up and I should get rid of the ground because even with my walls like this, more often than not, you would be surprised how many enemies actually break in and just go um, I guess honestly what I should do is put the wall up to here and then have like a two wide gap just on the outside so that enemies would fall into there instead but otherwise it's just a very basic cornerstone Elysian flasks always on the sides you know rejuvenation stations uh, all the different crafting tables and building blocks uh, chaos forge just because but here this is the fundamentals of everything that you're gonna need outside of a rejuvenation station all you ever need is a personal chest loot collector I always put that in the middle because you're loot collecting like everything and then the forge so that you can do stuff on the fly and then of course I've got an air gust tunnel that goes to the sky uh, and then each of these is color-coded where the blue ones north east south west of course uh, and each of these is the more efficient like game breaker cannon where all it is is just uh, it's very very simple I have another video on it but it's just four launch pads together and you have to have two blocks up so that you can walk into them and then the reason that it's so condensed like this is because I like grinding the lazy way where if I just start holding up right in the middle here I can just start tapping space and then bada bing bada boom there we go we just launched a million zillion miles Whee! <laughs> oh goodness, my nose is like all stuffed up. Ah. Uh, but either way, that's my cornerstones, everybody. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, hope you have a fantastic day, Sinor, and stay epic as always, everybody. Only